Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to talk about PROC Compare. PROC Compare is one of SAS, one of the SAS procedure that is mainly used to compare the contents of two data sets. So if you can, you can select variables in different data sets and variables within the same data set. So you can compare some variables between two data sets or you can also compare variables within same data set. So here in this procedure, we have a base data set that will uh, use to compare uh, with the compare data set. And uh, I will go through the uh, process and I will show you the program that how you can use this procedure. So suppose we have a two data set here. One data set name is customers one and second one is customers two. And I will run this uh, data set to show you that how these two data sets looks like so you can see that the first data set customers one has four variables and customers two data set has three variables so this is one difference you know uh, just looking the data set you can say and there are 10 records here and there are nine records and some values are different here. Here the first observation customer ID is same, but you can see the first name here is a Bobby and first name is here Bob. So these are the differences, you know, existing uh, between two different data sets. So how you can compare and generate a report that you can uh, show that uh, what are the differences between these two data set. So PROC Compare is the perfect, uh, you know, program that you can use. So first I'm going to run the base comparison between two different data sets. So I'm also running, you know, proc print statement here to show you that how these two data sets are actually existing. And when you compare how the reports are coming when you are comparing two different data sets. So I am running this, both the programs together and I will show you that how the differences are coming in report. So you can see this one is the first data set customers one. This is the second data sets customers two, and this is from proc print statement. And uh, you can see this one is the proc compare report. So you can easily see in the first data set customer one, there are number of variables are four. In second one in customers two, number of variables are three. Number of observation in the first data set is 10. So you can see that you know here is a 10 observation four variables three variables nine observations so that all will cover in your proc compare procedure and further details you know number of variables common is three and one variables is uh, present in one but not in uh, another one is one so this is all the information will come when uh, you will run proc compare without uh, mentioning any other statement and these are the differences uh, you know um, you can see the first one the observation third has a value three but in the compared one is the observation four the same way the value is different for the first name and the value for the last name is also different so that you can see in the original data set here so in the first here you can see the customer id same but the first name is different here is Bob and it's coming Bobby here and in the third one you can see that here is a Tom but no third one is here so it will take third observation this one so it's coming to the first you know customer ID this one four so this is how the differences is coming here so you can see that you know, customer ID is 003, but here is customer ID 004. So this is how, you know, a basic PROC compare procedures, you know, works. And uh, this is how um, you can limit further this comparison to a particular variable. Suppose if you don't interested in comparing both the data set in total, you just wanted to look the difference in this variable first name how the first name is different in one data set versus another so you have to specify the var statement and you have to write the variable name of that variable so i'm running proc print statements again along with proc compare just to make it simple and to uh, more understandable you know uh, for the proc uh, compare 
point of view. So the program is running now and you can see the output and um, this is the output and you can see so it will give you the comparison only for one variables that is first name and you can see the differences of the first name is displaying the first observation this is third and this is fourth this is all difference here here the first is Bob here and second is Alex that is matching that will not come in third observation is Tom here and third observations is Wendy so this is how you can restrict your comparison to a certain variables so this is second thing you, know, you can do in proc compare you can limit your you know output to a particular variable so the next thing is comparing two data sets with a common ID variables so you can see that you know in um, program when you are comparing some values are matching but they are you know uh, positions in a different place for example uh, this one is the Gale that is in observation 4 but here that is in observation 5 so it will showing mismatching so to avoid that you know uh, and to find out the common variables we have to use the common id variables and we have to use the id statement here so for that you have to sort your data based on that variable so here i am sorting so this is uh, i'm using a different data set so here i'm using sas help dot class data set and here i'm using sas help dot class fit data set and uh, after you know sorting by name I will print this one to, so that you can see that how the data is coming and when you are comparing what will be the output so I'm using ID statement as a name and I'm running all these uh, statements together so that you can see the differences so this is the proc print statement and uh, you know after sorting this is how it's coming so this one is the class fit you can see that values are aligned and sorted by name and this one is the class fit where data is also sorted and aligned based on the by variable name and when you are comparing an output is coming here so you can see that so there are five variables in first one so you can see there are five variables here and there are 10 variables in the second data set that is also very much visible here and uh, you can see you know the common variables are five and five and not commons is also five and we have id variables one we are using name only and you can see that uh, the first variable and is name is alfred and the last one is the william so you can see that is very much there here and in both the data set this is based on the id variable so it's matching actually so for matching you have to use id option so it's very useful if your data are not you know aligned or sorted in a particular way you have to sort your data first and then you have to use id statement so to make compare more useful you can include the id options and to demonstrate this with this example uh, I'm using both class and uh, you know class fit data statements and sat will, uh, this SAS will use only compare records with the you know whatever the matching value in the ID statement so this is very powerful and most of the time we have to use ID statement when we are comparing two different data set so other than that in proc compare you can use a metadata comparison that is also very used metadata comprises of like the name of the variables number of the variables that kind of things so here i'm showing an example using the prd cell and i'm limiting the observation here because records numbers are so high that is not able to print so i just wanted to show you that how the data structure is there and I'm comparing he here and I'm using no values so no value options which suppresses any value comparison so it will not compare you know the values it will compare only the variables name and metadata so just for easy understanding I will again print the value so you can see that how the comparison is going to work so this is two different data set 
you can see some of the variables are matching here actual predict here you can see actual predict and country is uh, there but position is different and product and here are like uh, you can see the differences here so there are a number of variables are 10 here but in the second data a number of uh, uh, variables are 11 and there are a number of observation is 1440 but here it's so big actually and that's why I printed only 10 uh, to just to show you that how the data structure looks like and uh, you can see there are number of variables commons are eight there are variables that is present in one but not in other is two this is vice versa there is a three and variables with different attributes is one so you can see you know these variables and this is all the variables name and uh, their labels and variables with unequal values so obviously these where variables has unequal values for example here actual you can see that value in the first observation is 987 but here is 925 so these all are unequal so this will not print the value wise comparison but this will give you an idea about the meta data comparison so which is also useful sometime when you wanted to look at what are the different variables are there and whatever the you know their attributes differences are there so next thing um, you can further look that what are the variables that are present in one data sets but not in other data set for that you have to use list where options so other than no value it will prevent the printing of the values comparison uh, but the list where options will provide you which variables are basically present in one data set and which variables are not present in the other. So again, I am running this proc compare along with proc print for the easy understanding. These are the proc print statement here. The proc compare is um, uh, print uh, and report is generating here. So you can see that the same information is coming again. But uh, because of uh, that, we are using list where option you can see uh, here is the details of which variables are common and which variables are not coming. So you can see that list of the variable in these two data set, uh, which is in PRD sale, but not in PRD sale two. So you can see these two variables are there, list of the variables in three, but not in PRD sale. So this is that variables and list of the common variables with different attributes. So these are the name of the variables where uh, are common, but they have a different attributes. So next thing is uh, comparing the data set by observation. So here we are going to compare values of each uh, um, data set. And uh, for that, you have to again sort your data. I am printing both the variables and I'm using you know ID statement and list based option so list based option basically provide the list observations found in base data set but not in the compare data set so it will give you only the list of observation that is present in base but not in compare data set so um, I'm going to run this program and you can see that how the outputs is coming so you can see this is the proc print statement here is the proc compare report is coming these values are common but because we are using list based observations where it will list you know whatever the uh, observations found in base data set but not in the um, you know compare data set so so you can see um, you know the differences so here the name is uh, different here and in the last name you know other variable if you see here the name of john is in the uppercase j but here is in, in lowercase that differences is also coming here you know that is present in the base value but it's different in uh, the compare value so the same way here is the spelling is different here is spelling is different so uh, you can use different option if you wanted to find the list observations that is found in compare but not in base you have to use list uh, you know comp obs options here instead of list base ops options if you are comparing list ops it will list observations that are found in either base 
or compare data set but not both so this word the uncommon will be uh, you'll be listed and list all will definitely list all the uh, values and observations comparable and variables that are found either in base or compare but not in both so this will uh, you know uh, different options that you can use to output your reports so last thing uh, that is very important comparing the specific values in output data set so how you can compare the values of one data set versus another data set so here uh, again you have to use different options so we have outcome options that will include value from the compare data set and out base that will include the value of base data set and out differences that will you know indicators to show that the position of differences are found and we have um, you know another options out no equal so restrict output observation to only those observations with differences so i'm using all of these option and again i'm uh, you know printing the data set also and uh, you can see and i'm taking out you know uh, this comparison in a separate data set so and this is again you have to use id statement so this is already sorted and uh, when i will run this program you can see this is how the output is coming but since we generated this one a comparison you can see this is how the output uh, data set is coming and you can see this is the data set that is generated after the proc compare procedure and this is how the output looks like so this is the base values for customer id first name and last name this is the compare data set you can see that values is coming so differences you can see there is a difference here there is a no difference so you can see that here no difference here is a difference so this is how you know uh, values will display uh, you know when you compare both uh, base data set with compare data set so i hope this uh, you guys like my video for proc compare and please subscribe my channel thank you very much for watching